Hi again then guys and welcome to episode 2 of Tour of Japan, the review series for the GT300 and GT500 Super GT Japanese JGTC racing cars that are featured on GT6. Whew, what a mouthful. And in this episode we are featuring the Autobax ASL Garaya which is a GT300 class racing car. There are, of course, two primary versions of this car featured on the game. There's a non-premium and a premium version. This is the premium version in this episode. It costs half a million credits, so it's cheaper than many of the GT500 racing cars, so that's a good start. But how does it compare to the non-premium version and also the other GT300 or, by extension, GT500 cars in general? Well, it's got a 3.5 litre engine compared to the non-premium version's 2 litre. It produces fully tuned 696 brake horsepower, which is very impressive for a GT300 car. It produces 532 pound-feet of torque and weighs in at 1,100 and 75 kilos. Now the PP incidentally when fully tuned is 615 which although that may sound pretty high considering how much power and how little weight it's got that's actually a pretty reasonable PP and it is actually very competitive at that PP level primarily because of its being such a pretty much perfectly balanced and very compact essentially super sports car within the JGTC class. Now the power to weight ratio is a respectable 592 horsepower per tonne and although this is a GT300 class vehicle the power and performance is actually not far off the GT500 cars which is very impressive. Now obviously with many of the JGTC machines they're based on mass production vehicles like the Supra, the NSX, the Skyline etc. This one's a bit different because, as I said, it's more of a sports car slash super sports car that this model is based on. And as such, it actually does have some advantages in things like having a low centre of gravity, having better aerodynamics just naturally than many of its rivals, and being just more naturally inclined to taking corners very quickly rather than having a big boxy shell to work with such as the Skyline has. Now what's the car like to drive, what does it have to offer compared to obviously primarily the other GT300 machines but by extension the GT500s as well? Well it's actually a very very good machine. Now it's a premium model as we said so it has a fully detailed interior but around the track it's it's really really good to drive. It's extremely quick, the acceleration is very strong the top speed is just under the 220 mile per hour region, so again, for a GT300 model, very respectable performance. And, like I said, the pace with which this car can get around tracks is not at all far off the GT500 machines, and it undercuts many of the GT500 machines by around a quarter of a million credits, if not more. So in terms of value for money, the Garaya is a brilliant car, and for the GT300 class, it's pretty much the best one you can get. If there is a faster GT300 machine, well, there just isn't one. So overall, it's a brilliant JGTC car, and it can take on vehicles with far more power, sometimes less weight, and vehicles which, as we've established, are in a completely higher class of racing. And not only JGTC machines, but this car can take on GT1 cars, it can take on GT3 cars. It's just such a versatile machine. Now obviously, as with all racing cars that are rear-wheel drive and lightweight, of course you can get the back end to, sli to slide out if you uh, throw it through a corner. But the handling overall is very, very good. There's tons of grip, the brakes are superb, and... For a car which has got, as it has, almost 700 horsepower, it's extremely easy to drive, surprisingly so. 
and overall in my personal opinion anyway it's just such a cool car it looks fantastic and there's something about the car which just feels a little bit more specialized than any of the other gt300s or most of the other gt500s as well it just seems such a specialist more exotic vehicle than they do and obviously that's down to personal preference but overall, if you're looking for a JGTC machine in general, I would definitely recommend it. If you're looking for a GT500 machine, obviously not, because it isn't. But if you're looking for both a highly competitive JGTC car in general, or specifically the GT300 class, for both of those, it is a brilliant machine. And at half a million, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better value for money racing car let alone in just the JGTC class but also in pretty much any class of racing it's a brilliant value for money car so that's it for this episode I'll see you guys next time and as always thanks for watching <laughs>